Okay, we are back and live for our weekly henna hair class. Apologize, we got cut off, and I also do apologize for being late. We do typically always meet at 12 p.m. for our henna for hair class, henna body hair classes, and any questions in, that you may have every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time Zone. But um, it's Abdul's birthday today. He's turning 15 years old, so. All, everything got me sidetracked with everything that's going on today, so it caught, took me a little bit longer to get on. And I realized it got cut off, so I hope that some of you had some questions and wanted to see what I was talking about. Real quick, though, um, in order to um, get started, I have one little thing that I want to tell you all about. Abdullah, since he's turning 15 years old today, he is doing a giveaway. He chose some of these great products. And he chose a Moroccan mud mask. He's got uh, the Sweet Honey Hair Nourisher. Got three henna gloss bars. Can you see those? The three of the henna gloss bars. The Goddess Hair right here. And uh, a body art kit. There's a body art kit here along with a book. And he wants to throw in a Cheesecake Factory gift card. It's $25 from a Cheesecake Factory. And you can get anything you want and desserts, anything. I love, love, we love the spot. He really loves the spot. So, what do I have here? I got some henna, some indigo, I got aloe vera powder, amla, and an extra bowl for mixing if we decide that you guys want to see me mix some things up. And basically what I was, uh, hey everyone, thank you, thanks, peace and greetings everyone. Okay, so the first thing first, um, when it comes to no more orange hair, no more orange hair, how does the hair get orange to begin with? Well, the using henna alone will definitely um, get your hair kind of orangey if the henna that you're using has an orange undertone. Some of the henna powders that are out there that we are that we carry have an orange undertone, like Jamila and Moroccan henna. So if you have like a high percentage of gray hair, you will probably pull a lot of orangey tones. And as you get more grays, it kind of like they pop out a little bit more orangey. Um, at first so you will need to tone it down uh, typically adding like the indigo to that is like key that really helps with it so your focus is hair color um, and and ask yourself those questions what is your hair focus is it color or non coloring today we're here about color what is your hair texture and your hair texture would be you know curly straight uh, wavy you know the different um, basically just between curly and straight and, and maybe in between um, that's a, an important question to answer. And the last question is, what is your hair type? When I'm talking about henna hair type, um, not just henna hair type, <laughs> I meant your hair type when it comes to henna, I'm asking that question so that you can ask yourself, is my hair oily, dry, or normal? It's not about the texture. It's not, like it's not necessarily type 4C or B or any of those. When it comes to hair type, I really want to know uh, is your hair oily, dry, or normal? Those are going to factor in the ingredients that you have to add to your recipe along with your hair texture. But this is a you know, class on hair color today. No more orange hair. Sometimes um, hair is really hard to get like um, a really good saturation of color and it pulls a lot of the... It's easy to pull reds with, with hennas and definitely with henna, that, that'll pull through. So if you can do use our hair wash beforehand and clarify, um, this is actually great for clarifying too. You can do the Rasool Play treatment. That's really good for, you know, clarifying as well. Um, oh, and I mentioned, oh, you know what? Before I forgot, why did I mention these products? There's a giveaway on our Instagram page. I'm so sorry, guys. I think I totally got like side, I don't know. I just started talking about Cheesecake Factory and I got lost in it. I don't know what's wrong with me, <laughs> but there's a giveaway on our Instagram page, Henna Sook, so enter today. If you're on our mailing list, we also emailed you an exclusive coupon that's valid for only today, 20% off, and you can win all these goodies as well. So definitely check us out on Instagram, and if you're on our mailing list, definitely be signed up because we have a lot going on, and my birthday's coming up too, so I have something even bigger, like huge like so huge like you do not want to miss out my birthday is i do i should i even tell you what my birthday is i should keep you guys in suspense hmm if you're on the mailing list i might tell you early so sign up for our mailing list at hennasook.com and you'll get early dibs and um, to uh the birthday surprise that i have also for 
me coming up right and it's literally around the corner so but that that's the big that's the most hint i can give you and let me see some, let me see some deep conditioner oh okay yeah michelle a we have um the sweet honey deep conditioner we have a cocoa butter hair conditioner you would really love it's a deep conditioning treatment and yes grateful i <laughs> thank you queen mother goddess um, again, the giveaway is at, at, uh, on our Instagram page. So you do have to go to Instagram and you do have to follow us on Instagram to take part in like the photo and so forth. But our Instagram page is also called henna soup. So yeah, this orange hair, like, I mean, what are we going to do about it? You know, when the hair gets orangey and you have a lot of gray hair, it's, it's kind of annoying. So, um, definitely clarify beforehand because you want your hair to be ready to accept the color like easily. And I recommend that you definitely do the henna and the Ayurvedic hair treatments on damp hair. It just gives it a little bit more slip and it goes on so much easier. Um, you can add some aloe powder to help tone down the red of the henna. That works slightly. Like, And if your hair is straight, it'll add volume. And if your hair is curly, it'll maintain the curls, which is great. And um, of course, the phone's ringing. The phone. I have to wait for that to, to stop ringing shortly. Um, Yes, and it's gonna stop ringing. Call from Alma Fabia. It's gonna stop ringing soon. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Call um, from Alma Fabia. Oh, before we move on to that, before we move on, and the aloe vera powder for moisture. So that goes back to that question that you asked yourself: Is your, you know, what's your hair type? Is it oily? Is it dry? Is it normal? In general, I find like. Aloe vera for all hair types is really amazing. It just gives the paste like a different kind of smooth texture. And it also um, just moisturizes the hair strands because henna and the Ayurvedic herbs can be kind of drying. So, you know, aloe vera powder is not going to hurt your hair, even if your hair is oily. But dry hair, definitely, you have to add this. If you do not add aloe vera powder to your recipe, an aloe vera powder in particular, not gel, not oil, this is more concentrated, that's going to help bring back the moisture into your hair, which you really, really need. Um, so yeah, the indigo, you got to have the indigo with the henna. So they do have to be mixed separately. There are a lot of brand, brand oh my God, I'm tongue tied. This should be part of the bloopers. Ah, okay. <laughs> so there are a lot of brands out there that do carry blends. See, I was getting like, not even confused, just messed up with the brands and blends and like you know getting all the words messed up but anyhow it makes for a good laugh right <laughs> so laugh with me not at me <laughs> either way it's all good um so you're probably wondering well, why don't we carry like blends like it would seem so much easier to just pop the box in there and powder and mix it all up and just use it and apply it well the thing is that if you've ever experienced using these blends and stuff, many of you probably realize that they don't really work as well as using the raw natural ingredients because of the difference in the dye release too. The henna has to be started at its own time. It sits for about three to four hours, not overnight. Please don't leave your recipes out overnight. The dye content is so rich with the crops as of recent, it does not let to, let to the need to be sitting overnight because it's too long. And that's also another reason you might pull orange tones. If you let your henna sit overnight, you will have orangey hair, like most of the time, because you've missed the peak. Like, this is the peak, you know, like it's like, here you go, I'm going up, and then it's kind of like crashing after like several, overnight, it's like, it's on its way down. Like, it's it's already on the way. Like, you're putting henna, like you mix it, it's like about three to four hours generally, or one to two hours if you're using Moroccan henna. And then you're putting in your hair when it's at the peak of the dye, you know, and it's just like rich and just dyeing your hair is so good. So that's so important, very, very, very important. Yeah. Yeah, that's a sweet pea. You would add for aloe vera powder, you only need about a teaspoon for a whole package. Just a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons, but no more than that. So a package of aloe vera powder goes a really long way. And so then that orange hair, so how are you gonna tone it down? Well, if you want more reddish brown, you can do two to three parts henna to one part indigo or for brown you can go one and one so equal parts and also for that dark brown tone then you'll do the opposite where you're doing two to three parts of um, indigo and then one part of henna and then use that in tablespoon form like I understand 
sometimes that on our website we do use the percentages I'm kind of considering switching it to um, that ratio um, I'm not really sure do you guys prefer the percentages or like the tablespoon measurements where it's like basically when I'm saying one to one you know what, what's easier to understand is it 50% of each or is it one to one I don't know I kind of, like what's your opinion I would really like to know what that's a huge question please answer this question for me do you prefer percentages for the recipe breakdown or do you prefer like one to one two to you know two to one three to one like what helps you understand how to measure this out properly because when I say one to one I'm talking about one tablespoon like one of each you know and then you will of course dispense the quantity that you need based on your hair type and um, not hair type I'm sorry that your hair length and thickness that's you know it's going to be like how much you use so if you need let's say you know 100 grams for shoulder length hair it's typically half a package of each but if you're going to do tablespoon forms like a whole package of henna is typically between 10 and 12 tablespoons um you know so then basically it's like yeah you're going to be doing what five five tablespoons five to six tablespoons to five to six tablespoons you know like that so i'm curious what works better for you because I, I i don't know the percentages seem to be confusing people um Oh, okay, oh, you like the percentages? Because <laughs> if you can do the math calculation, it makes sense. Like, if you do, you know, 50% 50, uh, 50 of 100 grams, it's, you know, it's going to be, you know, um, it's going to be like half a package, 50 grams. If you do 50-50, um, but you need 150 grams for like bra strap length hair, then it's going to be more like, you know, you have to do 75-75. So, that's really great, yeah. I, Michelle, we had neem powder and it didn't sell well. We we had it honestly. We we had it. We only have it uh, now because we use it in production. We have a cassia neem hair wash, and uh, that's flying off the shelves. Actually, people really love the cassia neem. It literally has cassia and neem powder in it. it it's like a phenomenal hair wash. Um, but uh, the neem powder alone, it really didn't do well, so we discontinued it. You know, um, yeah. Yeah, it has a different smell. I mean, it definitely has its own kind of smell. But have you tried our hair wash? That's really, really good. Um, okay, everyone loves percentages. Yeah. And then some people wonder one. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah, Michelle. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I work. that's why I work in percentages. Most formulators that are creating products work in percentages. When we're creating a recipe or a blend, like even the goddess hair, when we're creating it, I'm going based on percentages of what I want you know, this product to have, it has cassia and amla and hibiscus, fenugreek, rose petal powder and aloe vera powder. So I do all the percentages, you know, I'm making sure that I'm getting a good quantity of each and aloe vera powder tends to be about 5% about of the whole recipe, cassia and whatnot, and all that is really, you know, important to like, when you're formulating a product, you would definitely have like percentages and stuff like that. So you definitely want to do that. Um, Oh, it's good, Kayla. I'm so glad you like it. That's great. That's that's awesome. Um, perfect, perfect. Yes. So, what else can I say about orange hair and plant-based dyes? You know, um, that's basically all you have to really know, really, when it comes to orange hair, like how to avoid the orangey look. Definitely, I'm gonna repeat: use your warm to hot distilled water. You know, if, especially if you want a very gentle recipe. Um, you can, I know I've been saying how bad lemon juice is. Some of you do like to add a shot of lemon juice and I don't want to, um, tell you not to typically do that, but it can be adding a little acidic to like to the recipe. So only the henna you can, if you really are used to doing that. Um, sometimes I still do, to be honest, but it can be drying. So you have to have a well-balanced recipe with moisture because if you use all lemon juice, yeah, your hair is going to be hard rock crunchy and that can cause a lot of breakage so um, be really really careful if you want to be safe warm to hot distilled water green tea is okay um, herbal teas are very gentle um, and those are all hair coloring liquids and then warm to distilled water I feel like I missed something green tea uh, herbal teas um, apple cider vinegar is more gentle that's good um, if your focus is not even coloring your hair then I mean with the hand you could add any any liquid that you want you can do it any combination uh, you have choices in that case but this is hair color currently and indigo likes only warm to hot water so definitely don't add the amla powder to it um, anything acidic um, high like they, it doesn't like it so don't mess that let, let these sit when they're getting dye release 
just let them sit on their own. Like sit three, three to four, um, this is three to four hours, you know, one to two hours of using Moroccan henna, let it sit, and the indigo is ready in like 20 to 30 minutes. Um, but you can add aloe vera powder to all your recipes. Do so have any more questions here? Oh, Michelle, I remember you said that. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you had to shave your hair off. That, and you know what? I commend you because you could have quit henna. You could have been like, henna, I mean, you had to shave your hair off. Like, that's so drastic. Like, I, I would quit it. <laughs> I would be like, henna is the worst thing ever. If I had, if I used henna and I didn't realize that it was the lemon juice, like, what are the chances? Like, like a lot of people actually, because there's another website and brand, uh, and, and there's a few pages that talk about using lemon juice in their recipes, that information out there, a lot of people still use lemon juice in their recipe, and they just don't know because that information has to be changed. I mean, like, let them know. Like, if you see it, say, please, like, that is drawing. I had to shave my hair off. Like, most people will quit. That's, that's another reason people hate henna. <laughs> They are doing the recipes wrong and they're not getting the right information. Um, like, I stand by the information I give you 100 and infinity and beyond. I don't know, 110% infinity beyond. The information I'm giving you is legit. It works. Like, it definitely works. I mean, if it didn't work, then, you know, I would just not be here anymore and doing what I do. <laughs> like, I, people would be like, no, she's lying. But no, I'm giving you information that actually, and it works. It works. So, Definitely get use your recipe according to those three questions like what is your hair focus? What's your hair texture and what is your hair type? Once you answer those questions, then you can move forward onto like how to make that recipe for you specifically in your hair Yeah, chamomile. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Really great great Okay Michelle, I'm, I'm glad to hear that because, yeah, could you imagine when people have really, really long hair and uh, they have to shave all their hair off too? So there are people that I know that ha are in a situation like where their hair got super, super dried out and it was not good. So um, I've had people like send us like nasty emails um, about their henna didn't work and it was horrible or something. And I've even tried to assist some people or just not happy people <laughs> I don't I don't know what to say when I reviewed their order and I saw like no aloe vera powder or nothing they didn't purchase anything moisturizing I could only presume that they didn't add anything moisturizing to the recipe and all I can tell is people who um, you know who have decided like you know decided to like maybe they don't want to use henna and I understand it might not be for everyone at the end of the day and that's okay I'm okay with that because um, there's other Ayurvedic herbs and masks and products you could use instead. There's a lot of options. But, um, you know, to at least, if you have the information on hand, like that, that, you know, all the information that we're giving you, you know, to make an informed decision. At the end of the day, you make a well-informed decision and then you go from there. But, you know, I'm always going to be here to support you if you come back. And that, that's always the line that I leave. I'm like, well, you know, like, good luck it's going to be the same situation with any henna that you use so if you really want to do henna natural hair color and ayurvedic hair care you know don't necessarily give up just you know go to the experts and find out like myself ask us questions you know and we'll be glad to you know answer all of your questions um so i've had like in the last week there was a really interesting conversation like i put up a post on our instagram page about uh it was another like anti henna hair post, so I actually called it out. I actually like shared it to the story. I said, "Oh no, guys, it's another anti henna post," and they replied back. Um, oh, I mean, I'm not super surprised. I mean, of course, you know, you know, I thought that they would see it and they would say something, but I had a, a reply, you know, and you know, blah 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 type thing. And then they replied, but it was a few days later. And saying that they upset this corner of the internet, me, I guess. <laughs> so I went back on Instagram and was like, I'm not upset. Like, I'm not upset that, um, you know, some colorists and stylers are against Anna Henna. I'm, I'm not upset, but I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that a lot of the colorists and stylers, stylists have an opinion of things they either learn in, in school, I don't know, at the cosmetology schools, they're, they're taking what they learn there. And they're also taking client feedback who probably haven't used henna properly because they're in a situation where they're not happy with the results. Like, 
you know, there's a way to have success with henna and to have good moisture and balance. There's, there's answers to that. And then they just don't really like care. And then they say, they're like, well, chemicals this and chemicals that. Okay, what kind of sense does it make when you're saying a natural hair color, a natural hair coloring, a plant-based hair dye, henna, and Ayurvedic herbs? So you're saying chemicals are better than that, this? Um, no, that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> How in the world is chemicals better than henna? I don't even hear anything. You guys hear anything? Because I really don't hear anything. It's kind of quiet. Yeah, there's no answer to that. <laughs> there's no answer to that. There's no way you're going to sit here and say that chemicals are better than henna. Um, henna is a... And the Arabic herbs are all put on this earth for a reason. They're put on the earth for a reason. And they're there to protect your hair. So when you say, oh my God, I can't use chemicals and I won't strip out. Well, the henna's job is to protect your hair. And you're basically saying, I want to rip it off of your hair. The henna is there like... Yeah, sorry guys, it got cut out for a minute by a phone call. But yeah, it's the armor of your hair, you know, so how are you going to strip it out? Like you can't just, you can't, yeah, you can't necessarily just strip it out of your hair. Um, but you can safely, yes, you can safely, there's another misconception is that it's bad for your hair and, and it'll just dry out your hair and, and strip out your hair and all these other, like, just a whole bunch of stuff. You can use henna safely with any chemical hair color, any chemical treatments or perm that you want to. Um, you could definitely do that. You can safely do with henna with raw natural herbs, like like what you see here, the raw natural herbs and ingredients. Not blends. I can't speak on all other brands and blends and all the stuff. You have to be careful what the ingredients are in some of these other henna products. Just just be very wary and very uh, you know don't be scared, but just be aware, be aware. Like make yourself well informed. Let me go to the comments real quick. I feel I've just been rambling. I just feel like I've been talking so much. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, Michelle, there's a lot of that. Yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I don't, I'm, I, all the comments are great. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's just kind of like, at the end of the day, I'm only asking people to use their common sense. Think about the cosmetology schools. Okay, so you go to cosmetology, you know, to be honest, that's why I don't even want to go to cosmetology school because I feel like I'm wasting my time. Uh, they're not telling me anything about natural hair care, um, whatever hair type, texture, every, if you're caring, I'm, when I'm talking about natural hair, I'm talking about everyone who naturally cares for their hair, all hair types, all hair textures. They don't teach you nothing about that. Do you see any natural hair products and brands that you know in these, in these, um, in, the, in these cosmetology schools? Do you see Oyen Handmade? Do you see Ali K? Do you sell Mayel? All the products that you see at the natural hair shows and events, do you see them in the cosmetology schools? No. So it's not just about henna, it's about a whole mindset. So again, common sense. Who is in charge of the cosmetology schools? Whose you know, company's hand is in uh, the pocket of the schools? They're gonna push their own product. It's just, it's just like common sense. It's like normal that they will be pushing their product. They're not gonna push henna. They're not gonna push natural hair products uh, and brands. No, they're not. They're about supporting like them getting money. That, that's what they're about. They're, they're getting their money. <laughs> so then, so if you're going to their schools to learn, what are you learning about? the products that are in the cosmetology schools. And they're gonna promote it, and they're gonna say, use this, use that, use that. But henna's been around for thousands of years, ain't going nowhere. You know, chemical companies, brands, and all that, that's gonna come and go. But henna's gonna be here, it's been here. So, you know, people can say what they wanna say, but just use your common sense. And if you are a colorist and a stylist, you're using it personally, just get the information of trying, even though the internet has a lot of um, either old information or just bad information, it, it kind of sucks and I, I really do, I'm sorry that the internet <laughs> can suck. Um, it's about, and I'm going to use it as corny as it's going to be, guys, it's going to be corny, fake news. 
There is fake news about henna. I should make that a blog post too. Fake news about henna for hair. I should put a post up like that. That would be a good post. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta decipher it. You gotta get the information. Um, go to the experts, you know, but know that all the experts were not perfect either, you know. We are learning too. So there are some things that I don't know. I'm not sitting here saying like, I am all knowledgeable of, no, I mean, I am going to keep it real and I'm transparent. Like I, you know, I'm learning just like anybody else. Um, I mean, I've been doing this, this is my specialty, my expertise, of course, but you know, there's still so much more to learn. I'm always learning more things about henna. Going to Morocco, oh, I wanna go to India, I haven't been there yet, but just, there's so much to learn. The science of it, the, um, the composition, all of it, everything, it's just amazing. Um, yeah, it starts with use, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, Michelle, see, yeah, you know, you know, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. So do any of you have any questions about uh, orangey hair? I, th I think I covered most of the bases, you know. That's going to be key, you know, um, to avoiding orange hair. That I need to do a blog on that, too. And actually, I'm going to put a lot of content between below this YouTube video so that people can get the information uh, on that as well um, about, because um, I think it's a good topic. It's definitely a really good topic. If you have any topic requests, let me know. Um, but otherwise, I will see you. I guess I'll see you guys all. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, Miss Flame. <laughs> Got you. So um, if you have any questions, you can comment below this video. And don't forget, go do that giveaway. Guys, don't forget to take part in the video. Um, the video. The giveaway. Oh, my gosh. What is wrong with me? <laughs> go take part. In the, in the Instagram giveaway for Abdullah's birthday. He would be so happy to see, you know, um, everyone taking part in, in his giveaway. And, and if you're on the mailing list, you've got an exclusive coupon there as well, too, for today only. It's 20% off, so grab it up. And um, last but not least, oh, we've got a couple events coming up. If you're in the DMV area, March 9th, we're having the Moroccan Hair and Beauty um, Collection launch. We'll be at World Natural Hair Show in Atlanta. At the end of April, April 20, I believe it's 27th, 28th, the, the last weekend. And there's a few more events coming up. Uh, we're going to post it on the Facebook under events. And you can follow our page, ritualsofhenna.com. Um, but it's also on Facebook and Instagram, Rituals of Henna. Um, and again, stay tuned because we got a lot coming on. And just one more thing, guys. I just need positive thoughts, prayers, vibes everything because we are working on a creative space with another amazing brand here in the DMV DMV is a DC Maryland uh, Virginia area but um, more so in Baltimore area we're working with a brand to um, just make this beautiful dream come true with a creative space with uh, the natural hair salon products um, you know just natural hair creators and creatives it's going to be a really distinct niche. Um, again, we'll have classes. We're going to have events. Uh, I said retail already. I want to some pr production, like, you know, just making your parts, like a, just a, a full-on space. Um, artsy, modern, just really, I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh, you guys don't even know. So please, 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 I'm putting that out, out there. That's like, the, that's like a huge dream for me. I hope it comes together. I'm, I'm really hoping on it and just uh, putting all the positive vibes in it. So thank you all so, so much. Appreciate you. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at your comment. All right, I will see you all next Wednesday, 12 p.m. Eastern. I will do my, I will be on time. I will be on time. Thank you all. Appreciate you guys. Have an amazing um, rest of your week, you know? And don't forget to put post up your woman crush. It's hump day, you got your woman crush. <laughs> I'll see you all and get take part of that in that giveaway. All these amazing products. You can even gift this. But this is fun for a girls' night together, like doing hair on each other. Come on, you guys gotta have glosses, everything. Go take part. I'll see you all. Bye.